The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob for forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Mary told Joseph the message from God and how the angel appeared to her, and Joseph was confused, upset, and in disbelief. He did not want to marry her any longer. But while he thought on these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph did what the angel of the Lord told him and took Mary as his wife. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to his own town to register.
Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what they had been told to them about this child, and who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them.
took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Jesus' story is a gift, not of gold or wrapped in paper and bows, but of light. 